North Carolina 36, Wake Forest 34. Well, uh, <laughs> I said last week that I did not think that North Carolina should be an underdog, and and here you go. Uh, this defense is still really bad. Don't get me wrong. Wake Forest had the turnover, and I'm telling you, there is something going on with Sam Hartman. I don't know what it is, but they got down there inside the red zone, and Sam Hartman with that fumble, like, I understand that it is defensive players making plays. I get this. But, man, Wake Forest used to not, used to not do that. It, it was very strange to see this. North Carolina ran 15 more plays. Uh, they had nearly 100 more total yards. They had 30 first downs to only 23 for Wake Forest. Wake Forest had more yards per play. But you look at this, uh, there's, there's, anybody could have won this game. And this is basically what every North Carolina game has been so far this year. Uh, whoever has the ball last is probably going to win the game, right? I mean, that's, that's really what it comes down to. Uh, and North Carolina was able to, uh, look, at, for all the points that were scored in this game, in the fourth quarter, uh, we had a field goal. North Carolina kicked a field goal that won the ball game. Like, that, that's what we ended up having. Sam Hartman had uh, one interception. Um, yeah, I mean, just just brutal, just a brutal way to to not be able to get that thing done. I just ah, just rough, just rough when you when you really look at it. Um, I hope he gets right. I, I don't know what's going to happen there. Drake May was the uh, the story of the game. Nineteen carries, seventy one yards. Uh, he had he was thirty one out of forty nine passing for four hundred forty eight yards, three touchdowns. It, it is. I would say it's time to stop doubting North Carolina at this point because the offense is going to find a way to put up points. 11 receptions for Josh Downs for 154 yards and three touchdowns. He was an absolute beast. This offense under Phil Longo is awesome. The defense has dealt with a ton of injuries now, but they were bad before the injuries. So it's... I I don't know what the answer is for that, uh, but whoever is playing them... Better not stop themselves. You better take advantage of every opportunity to score because it don't matter how good your defense is. This Wake Forest defense has been pretty good. They've been okay under new defense coordinator Brad Lambert so far this year. And North Carolina ate them up. I mean, nearly 600 yards of total offense. And that was in Truist Field at Wake Forest. Like at Winston-Salem, it's, it, they, they were going to take advantage of being at home here. And yet, here we go. So very, very interesting to see this. Um, Wake Forest now, I, I had an under 8.5 ticket that I, you know, after that Clemson game and the way that Wake Forest had started playing, I thought was uh, I thought was in serious, serious trouble. Don't think so. I don't think so now. Um, but yeah, cheers to North Carolina. They wrap up the ACC Coastal. They are, they are rocking and rolling into the conference championship game. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.